This video will be an analysis of TT Edge member Andy's forehand topspin shadow swing. I'm a big fan of shadow swing to learn table tennis shots, however it's very important that you get the swing right or you'll be cementing errors that will be difficult to remove later. Let's take a look at Andy's shadow swing. The first thing that stands out to me is Andy's locked wrist. He may even be holding his thumb up the centre of the forehand rubber, which pretty much ensures the wrist will be stiff. The head of the bat never points back further than the side wall. If the forearm was loose, the bat should have at least naturally dropped down to point somewhere here. If you take a look at my shadow swing, you'll notice that the head of my bat goes back much further than Andy's as a result of my relaxed forearm. Yes, my swing is bigger, but I see no reason to restrict it as I'm not under pressure from a fast oncoming wall. Of course the swing would be much smaller if I was up against a fast block. You can see that the bat is actually facing here in this shot. It's not something I deliberately did and it's just the result of a more relaxed swing. What happens at the end of the backswing hasn't really been investigated properly. In this side on view, I'm trying to relax my forearm as much as possible to get maximum whip by getting the timing right. But is this what actually happens in reality? Let's take a look. Here's my forehand top spin against block. Let's focus on what happens at the end of the backswing. You be the judge. As for Andy, I'd like to see him relax this shadow swing, especially his forearm. Let's see if he can induce some natural whip by better timing the backswing and stroke. Let's give Andy a little time to get some more footage through to me with improvements. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more instructional videos by William Hensel and Brett Clark, you can go to ttedge.com.